In what ways does your media product use, use, develop or challenge forms and conventions of a real media product? My magazine consists of three magazine pages, each of which I have created to represent a, a genre. The genre of my magazine is indie pop, so for my, a magazine to follow the, the generic conventions of a real magazine, I have chosen to prestige a real Q magazine. This allowed me to create a preferred reading of 16 to 24 year old females with a disposable income so they can afford to buy the magazine as they have money to buy things that are not essential. The advantages of having a magazine to prestige help me to follow the real lives, codes and conventions of a magazine. The name that I have chosen to represent my magazine is Alt Pop. I have chosen this name because it brings together both genres together, pop and indie. The colour of my masthead as, masthead as well is red. This is very st- stereotypical of the ge- genre as the colour is vibrant and powerful. My target audience is females with a large disposable income. This is so they are able to buy my magazine as it is going to be distributed weekly. This is similar to the Q magazine as they interpreted read into their masthead as well. The genre of my magazine is indie pop. My magazine front cover follows the colours and conventions of the magazine I have prestige. Like every indie pop magazine, I have inserted on to my magazine front cover a barcode, a main cover line, a masthead an anchorage banner as well as a as a, ban, a, a banner. It has followed the conventions by using bold text on the men, on the names of the different artists in sans serif font, as well as features main masthead at the top of the pa- uh, magazine. This has pastiche the queue as in the pop magazine. They use sans serif fonts, which connotes the genre as being bold and outspoken, as it is one of the most popular genres of music. Also, it is to make it clear to who the magazine is by and identify of the mag- and the identity of the magazine. This allows my target audience to clearly see and spot out my magazine from the rest. This is because my masthead is in the middle center of the page so it's easy for the reader to know that this is my magazine this is different to the magazine that i am positioning the q magazine i've chosen this is because it is on the left hand corner of the page i felt it wasn't clear enough and didn't stand out i have also featured cover lines which say the artist names such as katie perry big album release the killers exclusive interview and Ellie Goulding, What's Next for Her. These are all artists that my target audience will aspire to meet and be them. I have also also mentioned the latest news of album releases because my reader will want to know all the up-to-date news on what is up and coming and what to watch out for. As this is the whole purpose of a music magazine, to give out information on what's next and what to watch out for in the music industry. On my front cover, which is the most important ones on the left-hand side and least important ones on the right-hand side, this is because people read left to right, so they are mostly likely to read the left-hand side cover lines first, which are the most important. The font that I've done my cover lines in is Aerial Black. This is a Santo font and is bold and blocked effect, just like the magazine I am pastiching. This relates back to the genre of indie pop as they are into bold colours and font as the hipster subculture is all about colours. These colours also connote the rebellion connotations of the genre term. Also, there is a main cover, cover image that features an ideal partner, Carl Rogers, 1980. I've used a medium close-up with a low tilt on the model. This is so the reader has a direct gaze with the model and has a connection with the male model as well. This, the mise-en-scene that, I have, that has been used to create an ideal partner also is, shows his dominance and how he is rebellious.
He is wearing a plain white t-shirt. This represents the, the hipster subculture and other people who are into this subculture will be able to copy his style as he will be an icon to my target audience. The cover image relates to the relates to my main double page spread which is anchored by the main cover line. They also have a direct gaze which means that they are looking straight at you. This involves the reader and makes it more personal. I've created a preferred reading, Stuart Hall 1980, as the audience will read the text in a way which it, it was intended to. Also, I have featured a main cover line that is in a much larger font with a stroke on it and is featured in the middle of the page and is in bold neon pink. This is very stereotypical as back in the, the 80s when pop first came out, this was the colour that everyone would be wearing and I have converted this in my main colour line. This is also being used to catch the reader's eye so it stands out from the t-shirt my model is wearing. My main cover line says, what Jamie Lowe said now. This is very similar to the magazine I am prestigious, which says, what has Robbie said now. I have used this, main, used this as a main cover line because it connotes rebellious as it comes across like they have some big news to say. I have also featured a barcode so my magazine is able to be sold in shops. It is also features a website on it. This means that the reader will be able to go to our website. This is for, this is a form of synergy. My double page spread goes from the goes by the codes and conventions of a double page spread. My first page on my double page spread features the main article that has gone by the codes and conventions of a real magazine, as they are in columns and our size font. Also, in the middle column, I have made one of the pull quotes by the artist larger. This is so the reader is intrigued by the quote and gives them an idea of what the article is about. I would love to go and sing live with my fans. I would love to go and sing, sing with my fans live. I use this quote especially as it will intrigue the reader and is personal to them if they are a fan of the artist. The mode of, dr of address I have chosen to use is peer to peer, which allows the artist to speak directly to the audience in a way that appeals to them. For this article, I have used bright pink, which is a really girly colour. This is because the body copy of the article is specifically aimed at girls. This represents stereotypes as pink connotes the female gender. Also, it's in the main image that is on the right hand side of the page. This is a close up of, of the artist that shows emotion in the artist as well as a direct gaze to make the reader think he is looking at them and is more personal. I've used different images, but if the same of the same artist throughout my magazine, this is so it comes across to the reader as an exclusive, and it and that it will be a big article of the artist. This is also being done in the Q magazine. I think it makes the magazine flow better. My headline on my double page spread states: "New kid on the block, Jamie Lo." This is this connotes that he is a new and upcoming artist with the dialogue of the headline being very colloquial as it is in the language that young people will be able to understand. Firstly, I am going to talk about the layout of my magazine and the grid method that I have decided to choose. I have used four lines across. This is because I felt this represents a real Indian pop magazine such as Q because they used far as well. This is because I wanted to fit a lot of information about the magazine. This is because the indie pop genre is one of the most fast moving genres of music and I always have new information. 
My contents page has followed codes and conventions and has not challenged any. I decided not to challenge my conventions because I didn't feel it was necessary and wanted to stick to the generic codes or conventions of a contents page. The house colours have followed through to my contents page. This is so if it feels like one of the mag- one magazine, just just like the Q magazine that has used the same three colours throughout both pages. Just like I have with the black, red and pink, this is so it re- represents the genre of being fun and vibrant. It features a main masthead to tell the reader what the page features, which is in the house style colours, which is throughout the magazine and is bold. This allows to create synergy of my brand as well. It also features a number of all the three, all the different pages with name of the artist and a sentence of what is it is about. This is so the reader reader will know whether or not to read the article, and if it is about the topic that they want, also they so they know where about the article is. I've also I have also used page numbers as a form of anchorage on the image. This is so they know where to find that particular artist. This is not featured in my Q magazine, but I felt it was necessary to have this on the image so they knew about it. About it was and made it easier to read. I've used multiple images of artists. This is stereotypical for our contents page, as they shouldn't be much writing on it. My contents page also features an editor's section, which is there to make the reader, reader think it is personally for them, as it features a signature by the editor themselves.